Good evening, everybody. We're just going to take a quick look at this Tridenite, if that's how you pronounce that. Uh, 128 gigabyte memory card. It's class 10, um, so it should be a reasonably quick one. We're going to just do a simple little transfer test with Windows to see about how fast that is. Bear with me while I extract it from its packaging, hopefully safely. And I will take this card reader that they included as well. Let me get that out. So let's see. Almost got it. Thoroughly packaged this thing. Thoroughly, thoroughly gets in there. Alright. Let's see. Got the micro SD to full size SD card adapter. Always nice when they include those. And if I can carefully get the card itself out of here, we'll be on our way. Packaging is um, the opposite of frustration free. This is high frustration packaging. Okay, I got the card out. Mangled the packaging a little bit, but the card is undamaged. So, that looks pretty good. We're just going to put him right in there. And put that into the built-in memory card reader on the laptop. Uh, there's a pretty good chance that the memory card reader is slower than what the card can do. So it's showing 116 gigabytes free space on an empty card. That is good. I have a folder here with 25 gigabytes of um, video files. So I'm going to try transferring that over. Let's see. I'll have that open as well. So I'm just going to do a copy and paste on our 25 gigabytes of video files and see what kind of write speed we get. We got a couple windows open here trying to show that. So I'm seeing 70, just about 75 megabytes per second on the transfer window. Looks like we're uh, pretty close to full capacity. We might have just barely hit the limit of what the um, the built-in card reader can transfer over. It's probably a USB adapted bus, but that's showing just over 75 megabytes per second as well of write speed, and it's holding pretty steady. It's showing, uh, showing fairly good stamina so far. We're only about 14-15% uh, complete, so we'll see a lot of times you'll get a good initial speed and then there will be a drop in speed as the uh, I don't know components heat up or something stuff just doesn't seem to be able to hold its speed all of the time on a sustained write so 25 gigabytes is a pretty decent write load for a uh, micro SD memory card we'll uh, see how this plays out but everything's looking steady so far Meanwhile, seeing if there's anything interesting on the packaging. On the packaging, it actually says waterproof. Interesting. Shockproof, x-ray proof, temperature resisted, resistant. Uh, it says read up to 100 megabytes per second. I believe it based on the write speed because the write is holding solid at 75. Pretty impressive for an inexpensive card. So it's set up for 4K recording and photos and high app performance. Uh, two year warranty. We'll stick it there on the bottom as well. So pretty good. Pretty good all over all that way. Still watching that transfer there. And uh, yeah, it's possible that the card could squeak out a little bit more speed if I had a faster card reader, but um, 75 megabytes per second, that's based on the uh, thin layer of what's left there. 
pretty much the limits of the computer more so than the limits of the card, but I don't think the card would really do much more. 100 megabytes per second for read speed is all that's being advertised here. Write is almost never as fast as read. They don't actually quote a speed on the packaging for write speed as far as I can tell, but it uh, meets the minimum requirements for class 10, so that's something. A little over halfway there, and uh, still no drop off, so it's, uh, it's a trooper. video files, mostly 1080p content with a little bit of other resolutions mixed in there. And we've kind of dropped to uh, still over 70. For a little while there it was towing between 70 and 72, but we haven't dropped below 70. We're still pretty much right at or just below 75 megabytes per second. The transfer is still ongoing. Almost reaching. Now there was an 80. I saw 80 there for a moment. Yeah, maybe 10 or 15 gigabytes would have sufficed, right? But we're almost there. Micro SD cards are never usually speed demon types of things, but uh, yeah, 75 meg, that's pretty good. Pretty respectable in the world of micro SD cards. Definitely fast enough for uh, my GoPro. That's most likely. What I'll actually end up using this card for is uh, with my GoPro Hero 8 and see, uh, see how that works out for a while. Also would be a good choice for a Nintendo Switch or maybe a drone, even if you just need some more memory in your smartphone. Um, it would be a solid all-around micro SD cards for almost all intents and purposes by the looks of it. Looks like we're going to make it all the way to the finish line without dropping below 70 and still averaging about that 75 megabytes per second. For write speed on a micro SD card, that's pretty good. won't torture you with a full uh, full copy back but just for a moment I'm gonna start a copy and paste from the micro SD card back to my uh, solid-state drive just to see now we're showing a read speed of 87 86 87 megabytes per second we're pretty close to just pegged now on the uh, on the task manager view here so I think it's pretty safe to say that's almost all the steam the card has but we're, it's pretty much also all the bandwidth that's available on the memory card reader for this computer as well so about 10, 10, 15 more megabytes per second on the uh, read speed versus write pretty respectable card all around. Looks pretty good, so um, other than a little bit annoying to get out of the packaging, which you only deal with once, it's a got ourselves a fairly nice little memory card here for all intents and purposes. There's a quick look at it, there you have it, and you have a good one.